Hey there, everyone. So this is the first lick that we're going to get into today, and um, it's going to be the first lick of a series of licks by Stevie Ray Vaughan. Uh, licks and phrases, and these um, these little guitar bits that we're going to play are going to come from many different songs. This one in particular comes from uh, a version of Texas Flood, a live version, and it just sounds really nice. And it's I'm going to start this series off with this uh, particular uh, phrase because I think it really gives a good essence of um, some of the things that Stevie Ray Vaughan liked to do quite a lot, and um, yeah, so slowly this lick kind of sounds like this. <laughs> Okay, so Stevie Ray Vaughan used to tune his guitar down a semitone, so he would be playing this in the G minor pentatonic or G blues position, um, but we're going to be taking this down, well at least I am, if you want to tune down, that's up to you, but I'm going to be in the F sharp uh, minor pentatonic, so... Okay, we'll be around there. And uh, it starts off... Well, something that Stevie Ray Vaughan used to do quite a lot of is the old Chuck Berry sort of. And what this is, is a, a full tone bend up on the uh, G string on the 4th fret. And we're going to have the 1st finger barring over the 2nd uh, fret on the high E and the B. And then we'll play those two notes. So it'll be on the B string first and then the E on the 2nd fret after we play that bent note up, so it sounds like this. Okay, everyone's heard that lick before. And after that, we're going to do a pull off from the 5th um, fret on the B string to the 2nd fret. Okay. Stevie Ray Vaughan used to start a lot of these, him, his phrases like this, so it's a good one to kind of get down. And then the next little section here is kind of an interesting little thing that Stevie Ray Vaughan does. It sounds like this. Okay. Uh, so what we're doing here is we're playing the 4th fret on the high E. And then we're going to pull off on the 3rd fret, interestingly enough, to the 2nd fret. But the 3rd fret that we pull off from is kind of a ghost note. We pull off really quickly and get this kind of flowy sound with it. Okay. And then we play the 5th fret and 2nd fret on the uh, B, okay? So all together so far. And, uh, yeah, now that little phrase there, with those three notes, is kind of an unusual thing to hear. But Steve Ray Vaughan used to use it a lot, and I think a lot of um, blues players do this. Um, or some variations of it. But that little note here is something that is kind of cool to learn. So that's, the set, that's what we have up to now. And then the next bit kind of goes... Okay. So this is a kind of a little bit of blues bend on that high on the 5th fret. Don't have to bend it too much, a quarter note will do. Okay. And then a pull off from the 5th fret to the 2nd fret on the B, okay. All together. And then we have this part here. Okay. You can kind of phrase that in different ways. Sometimes you can do a ghost note with the uh, fifth fret on the G, where you slide from that blues note down to the fourth, and then pull off to the second. Okay, or, you know, there's different ways to phrase that, um, but that'll be the sort of thing we do, it'll be the, a slide from the 5th fret to the 4th fret to the 2nd fret on the G. And then the last two notes will be the 4th fret on the D string, and then the 2nd fret on the G string. And try to give that last note a nice bit of uh, strong vibrato. That was also something that that Steve Ray Vaughan used to use a lot of. Is nice wide vibrato 
captures the essence of his playing um, and you can add a lot of feeling into your playing with that. So, uh, so yeah, there we go. Such a nice little lick to use and um, as I said it captures a lot of the things that he used to do a lot of with that kind of Chuck Berry kind of starting lick. Uh, kind of the pull offs. He used to use a lot of that all the time. And then those three notes there. You hear Steve Ray Vaughan use a lot of that um, kind of thing. It's just an essence of Stevie, Stevie's playing and uh, he does a lot with basically these top three strings here in the uh, blues, um, in a minor pentatonic stroke blues um, you know, first box that you would use. He does a lot of that and he does so much with it and uh, <clears throat> you can really have a lot of fun with these licks, okay? So, hope you have some fun with that lick and um, find some places to use it in the future. So, hope that's a nice little starter for you on Stevie's, um, Stevie's licks and phrases. And there'll be more, so stay tuned. <laughs>